Hello and welcome to USTS, the Ultimate Sports Training Show. I'll be your host for today's show, Bob Lemire. Joining me on today's show is, uh, and I've mentioned this before, twice, he's three times on my show, uh, Pride of Drakeit, Pride of Drakeit High School basketball team, um, and uh, just an un- unbelievable athlete. Uh, talented and beautiful, and scholastically also, uh, Brody Annan. Welcome to the show, Brody. Thank you, thank you. As they say, it's the third time. It, it's uh, I looked up, and it was uh, April of last year, your first show, mm-hmm. and you were a junior. Yep. I remember that. I right? do. <laughs> and uh, we were looking at what's going to happen in your senior year, yeah. and you predicted a lot of stuff in, in your own way. Uh, before I go crazy on my rant, um, what have you been up to this year so far, uh, 2003, 23, you know? Um, so now that basketball's over, it's been over for a little while. Um, I've just been kind of like, you know, just going to school, doing like the day-to-day thing, going to school, coming home. Um, I'll go to the gym with my mom. We both go to like this kind of like personal trainer. There's like a couple other people in the class and it's kind of like the same stuff every day. I mean, go to school, then go to the gym, go home, make dinner, and then just repeat. Excellent. Every yeah, day. but you get to relax now. Right? Oh my gosh, I'm so, <laughs> taking naps every day. It's oh, just like I missed it so much. <laughs> are you are you still <laughs> playing basketball though? Are you? Oh yeah, you're, like you're I'll still? go um, yeah. to the courts and right. I'll just like shoot for a little bit, maybe like right. an hour or two. Okay. Yeah. You see, you're gonna it's in your blood. Yeah. Especially after, and then you're. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get into this. All right, so. Um, a year ago, uh, you were predicting, you actually kind of predicted you're going to have a great team mm-hmm. this year. Because I said, well, you're losing some people. And, yeah. and, and you says, yeah, but we got a crew coming in. Yeah. And you had some staying. Um, let's, let's do a rundown of what, what happened this year mm-hmm. um, uh, on the basketball. Uh, you started off unbelievable, right? Yeah. What, was, what was your record? Do you remember your record? Um, and I don't expect you to remember that, but because it makes... Yeah, no. So it was... So like how it was different from the year before, um, our record was like... And I hate to use the word worse because we still had a great record, but it wasn't as good as it was the past year. Right. But that's just because, you know, going into like this season, our coach was like, we're going to play harder teams. Uh, teams. We're going to, you know, play those right. big schools and those big names. So we... Um, I know we played 27 games. I think we maybe lost like six, maybe. Yeah, that's t- and, so yeah, it was still a great record. Yeah. And playing those big teams. Big, oh yeah. That's what did it. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, because um, and, and I think of it, and I, and I was at your last game. I was yeah. at the champion, the state championship. Yeah. Right? And uh, it was like uh, because I've known what you've gone through, been watching your progress yeah. and stuff, and the whole team. And I went, it's like. One of those made-for-TV movies mm-hmm. of a high school team, a small high school team. Yeah. All right, not a big high school team with thousands of kids. A small, and and they got it together, and and you guys did that. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's your, it, and it's everyone. It's the coaches, right? Yeah. It and all these blending and meshing together. Um, how did you? When did you guys realize you had something? You know. When did the season start? Excuse me. When did the um, season start? It starts right after Thanksgiving. That's right. when tryouts start. All right. So your first game would have been December? Yeah. I think it was like probably early December. All right. Maybe right. mid-December. It's a lot of games, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, 27 games. That's a, a lot of games. a lot, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You look at almost two, uh, two a week. Uh, yeah. Maybe more. We had uh, sometimes, like, we had a couple weeks where we had, like, back-to-back games or we had three games in one week, so... Wow. Yeah, and you're tired, and yeah. you were injured. You were fighting an injury. Yeah, <laughs> how's that injury today? It's still like the ankle, right? Yeah, it, um, those take forever. I know it's happened. I can't. It was like the beginning of the season. It wasn't even a real game. It was just right. a scrimmage. Yeah, you. And like me. I still feel it. Like when I'm in the gym and I'm running, or right. I'm like, I'm just I'm doing like a squat or something. And I just move it a certain right. way. Right. Like I can feel it, and, and it's just mm. what what yeah. happened? What you, you, they just so a sprain. Um, yeah, it was a it was a high ankle sprain. Right. Yeah. And like, honestly, like at that point, I would have, not really like would have rathered a a break because That's, I mean I know it's like a long time, but like once it heals, like you're it good. Heals, right, a yeah. sprain is 
Yeah, they'll they'll YouTube. come up whenever they want to. <laughs> yeah. So like I I can still feel it and like it took it's it's still like not really like fully healed. Like right. I can, you know, run and do all that, but like I can still feel it. Right. So and I can't like flex my foot like fully yet, so it's still like slowly healing, oh, yeah. but yeah. yeah. They take forever. So long. It, well, you know what it is? They take forever, forever, but uh, because you never stopped. Yeah. And you're constantly pushing it. Yeah. So as it wants to heal, you've got championship basketball you're playing. Yeah. Uh, you're going to play top. So it, now you're kind of re-injured. What did the doctor mm -hmm. say? You got to you know, play, he, no play. He was like, he was really good about it. Um, he pretty much just said like, he's like, all right, I'm going to give you this boot. And it's, it's mainly up to you, like how long okay. you want to stay in it. I think he like recommended... Um, two or three weeks with the boot, and like right. I think I was only in it for like maybe two weeks. I think maybe a week and a half, and then I um when I wasn't wearing the boot, I had the just the air cast on, and then I would use crutches. I I only used crutches for like maybe a week right. with the boot too, because in the beginning I I couldn't put any pressure on it at all, and um so like so many people ask me, they're like, why are you using crutches if you have a boot on? I'm yeah. like, I, I can't walk. I'm it's, it's yeah. Well, thank God you're in great shape. And you yeah. were in great shape because if you weren't, it would have been worse. I oh, mean, yeah, you know, for so sure. Your muscles and everything and, and the blood flowing and, you know, and that, that gets you going. Yeah. And now you know you got a great season uh, and you guys had a great season. Mm -hmm. And um, um, you know, la last year you were the, what do they call it, the, the Elite Eight? Yeah, we made the Elite Eight. You made the, and, and that was it. Yeah, and then we lost. And then I remember talking to you and saying, and you were saying, now yeah, next year uh, we expect better, and you got better. Yeah. You guys went right to the state championships. Mm -hmm. Tough game. Yeah. Tough team. What? T what's the? I don't. I've, Foxborough. Foxborough. Yeah. Um, and we like we never play them because they're not in our they're right. not in our league. Right. So it's like a brand new team, and uh, yeah, we so. watched. I can't even tell you how many times we watched film on them. Right countless of times but like it's just film is not the same as like going no. and watching them no so yeah. the, the the thing is uh uh you guys gave your heart yeah and soul even at that game that i was at and uh i watched and it it, it, it was it, when it was over and you you guys break down yeah. knowing that it, it's all over for the whole team mm -hmm. as one mesh yeah um but that's what it's all about isn't it it really is yeah uh to work up to that moment and uh, well, look at the Bruins. Yeah, I, I can't right. believe they lost. Well, and so oh my gosh. so you had <laughs> the, the greatest season for them. Yeah. Uh, breaking records, no one's ever been, and out in the first round. Yeah. Uh, it's the way it goes. Yeah. The puck goes in, you know, the basketball goes in, and that's the way it is, yep. right? You get those baskets that go in, and some that won't, and the rebounds and stuff. Um, but you guys were classy. And you had a class act. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Yeah. Uh, stadium was full. Oh, it, my, was, it was such, like, just such a, a great experience. What a rush. Yeah. What a rush. Uh, and I wanted to get your coaches on, and I probably will. I wanted things to settle down a little because people just, yeah, they yeah, need yeah. to decompress. Well, you decompressed in Puerto Rico. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great vacation. <laughs> what did you just get back, right? Um, I mean, when did we come back? We came back. It was like late april so yeah i've been back for like almost two weeks now i think okay, okay. yeah that must have been something huh yeah it I, was so nice there the weather was like 86 was sunny perfect. every day oh, yeah, it you was got just, the tan you're all tan it was, and stuff. yeah wow. it was so nice we were there for a week um five days five days it was like a short trip but like it was very much needed like i wasn't even supposed to go on that right it was supposed to be my mom and then my grandmother right and then my uncle okay and um my grandmother ended up, she got sick and because she went to Josh's game in Florida. Tampa. Yeah. Right. Okay. So she went on that and then she was like, you know, like, it's probably not smart. I don't want to risk it. So my mom was like one day, she's like, well, I kind of have an extra spot. And she's like, you would oh. miss one week of school. And I'm like, yeah, well, big deal. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. That's yeah. okay. I'll go. Wow. That's not nice. Especially yeah, the way so the nice. weather's been around here. Yeah. You go down to Puerto Rico and it's, uh, uh, I, cause we're Facebook friends. We're yeah. all Facebook friends. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> you know, they, w w when you win or lose or whatever, you go to Disney World. These guys go to Puerto Rico. They're having a <laughs> ball. Wow. And uh, so uh, so you come back. Um, 
You still have school left? Yeah, we have 16 days left. Oh, not like I'm counting or anything, but no, no, no. 16. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but all your tests are done and everything, right? We still have finals. We're still like, we're kind of doing, I feel like we're kind of doing work right now to just like fill in the gaps of yeah, the days. Yeah, well, you got to put the days in. And then. And, and still learn a yeah. little, you know. And then there's finals, which. And uh, you're all set with that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, senior year is kind of like a breeze. If like, you do all your work, if you, ma you make sure work, you get it done. Right. But all, like pretty much all of our finals are projects. So it's not like we maybe have like two classes where it's like an actual test. Okay. But like the rest of them, it's like, oh, you know, you just an individual project. project and yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's <laughs> nice. Uh, what school did we say we were going again? I, UMass Dartmouth next U, year. Yep. UMass Dartmouth. Um, and uh, basketball? Yes. The, well, you were going there before even getting into the Elite Eight, right? No. So I just decided like i think i was i was on i think i was like the last one of the last people on my team who like had i'm not gonna say offers because like but you know like uh, like schools yeah. that were interested in them right. um because not like i had like a list full of schools right like yeah. reaching out to me but, but I, I had a couple and i i wanted to make sure that like where i went was right. like i don't want to have to transfer i don't i just want to make sure like that this is a school for me okay. so it was, I'm trying to think, like, when I made the phone call that I was going. I think it was, like, mid-season this year. Right, okay. After kind of, like, I made, like, a pros and cons list, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah, good for you. at one point, it was just so stressful because I was in between two schools, UMass Dartmouth obviously being one of them. Right, yep. And I was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to make the wrong decision. Uh, yeah, you can't say. And then I just, like, after going there and like spending time with the coach and like walking around i didn't like i didn't want to leave and i was like All right. i think there yeah there you go i think that's, that's your like, coach that's the coach yeah that's good yeah. for you yeah because think about it i mean what a decision yeah it is a decision yeah and uh so did you decide what uh your major is going to be uh, oh, i've been point. back and forth so You're many times still, about this still not, yeah. right now like i picked to do business but like in the back of my like first it was criminal justice that's what I started out I remember with I'm like that, yeah I yeah. want to do that and then I was like oh maybe business because I love what my mom does she does commercial real estate and like I think that like business would be a good background to have it's very like it's always, yeah, broad yeah, you can go right. and pretty much anywhere with it right so I was thinking that and then my mom's like well you know like law is a good one too and I was like yeah so I don't really know yet but right now it's business right but I feel like I'm gonna end up changing it so. You know, you don't mind me asking your age, 18? 18, yeah. Okay. They put such pressure on young adults. Yeah. You got to know what you want. You don't have to know yeah. what you want. You could take two or five years off and say, all right, I'll go back now. Now I know what I want. Yeah. But if you don't and you get all these different things going in business, yeah. any way you want, then you say, all right, maybe a little criminal justice. Right? Yeah, because it's not like you're old or anything. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you you could go the next six, seven, eight, ten years doing this and getting jobs and saying, all right, maybe I'll do this and that. Yeah. Because you you're a smart woman and you know that all right, this is what I want to do. Well, yeah. maybe no, this ain't what I want to do. You know, sometimes it's good to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, so you you met your coach. Yeah. And you were you were fell in love with the school. Yeah. Uh, did they? Did you ever? Did they ever get back to you on the game, or or, or your season, or what they thought? Um, he came to a lot of our games. He actually surprised me at some of them. Like, it was our game for the final four, so like when there was four teams left. Right. Um, and like mid game, just like you know, I'm doing my thing, playing, and then I just like kind of like turn the corner and I just see him there. I'm like, oh shoot! Oh. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he was here, but like I like that. Like I like to like not know that they're there because like then before the game, I'm all nervous and I'm like, yeah, I just play good. If and I play bad, probably, and then yeah. he's gonna think I'm terrible. And you know, well, like and you he know knew that he knew that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the but the thing is, it's like um, uh, for him to do something like that. Yeah. He's he's showing his support and he he sees the value in you. Yeah. All right. You're tall. You've got, you've got, I've never seen anybody go after the ball. Like, <laughs> like, and, and a good luck to the person that wants to fight the ball with you. I was like, look at him. I said that to my wife, I go, look at her. She's, she's old. She, Cause you're on the ground. You're yeah. full. And I go, and she's injured. Mm -hmm. She's got an ankle. She's trying to watch for her. And, yeah. um, and that's, I only saw that game. 
Mm-hmm. All right, uh, the championship game. I didn't see the 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 Elite Eight, the Final Four. And, yeah, you know, those were like, definitely the better games. Oh, the the sure. championship game, it was. I mean, we we definitely did not play our best. I think we were also nervous, which is completely understandable. Of course. But I mean, I think I'm trying to like think back to like. I think our best game was probably um, against Medfield, and that was the game right. Was that game? I think that was the game right before the championship, and. Medfield like has they're known to just like be good in every single sport right, right, like yeah. even boys so like boys lacrosse girls lacrosse baseball right, right, yeah. basketball big, football big, like everything yeah, just big, a big, big school, school where like they have options yeah. and so like they I think last year they were ranked like number one so we were like going into this game oh no and they were ranked number two in the tournament yeah and I think we were sixth wow. I think so wow. so we're like ooh. Yeah. scary and then yeah, we, yeah. we ended up winning by three points wow so it was just like so crazy that's right yeah and th- that's like a, that's what i'm saying it's like you watch all these movies yeah uh with uh, uh sports those are my favorite movies oh, everybody's favorite yeah and the, the team that's then i don't have a chance yep and they come back and they come back and even and they and you say at the end so you didn't win the, the championship and as i told you i said uh on the Facebook, and I, I made sure I wanted you to know that. You lost the game, mm-hmm. one game, but you won the hearts of Drake it. Oh, my gosh, yeah. For, for the rest of your life. It was just yeah. like, even that game, to like look and just see how many people were there, it oh, was yeah. insane. And like and going crazy. I just like remember when I was younger <laughs> and I was on like the elementary school, like the elementary school basketball teams, the travel teams, right, yeah. and I would go to the varsity games and like i would look at those like huge girls and i'm like they're so cool (laughs) and i want to be them and then just like watching from like the sides when we're playing and like seeing all those like younger Uh, girls over there just cheering us on like it's it's like the the cutest thing ever and it's just like you know and you remember yeah remember and and then they look up to you and and if you can even just talk to them and uh you know you touch them and pat them on the back Ah, they go crazy so like so many times like after games they would come running over to us and they just like have their phones out and we're like can we take a picture with you oh yeah yeah, yeah. isn't that so cute oh my god and you know you made your your uh, your whole family proud and it was just so much fun and um now you gotta now you gotta leave yeah i know it's sad it's a sad thing uh but the memories um and you got it. It's all on D. A lot of it's on DATV. Yep. And a lot of, a lot of stuff. You know, years ago when I had to take movies with my son and my daughter, like, God only knows what those things. Are. You know, you, yeah. you had your camera and stuff. There was nothing else. Mm-hmm. Now there's so much. Yeah. You go watch that thing anytime you want to watch <laughs> yeah. it. You know, and um, so uh, then you won an award. Mm-hmm. That's the. Uh, and I, I'm going to let you say it. National. National I, Women's in Sports Day thing, yeah, yeah okay, something and, like that. <laughs> and and what's the, what was that? Is that a surprise? Or yeah, that, that completely caught me up, like caught me off guard. So I was in school, and then I was called to the um, athletic director's office, and I was like, it's well, kind of weird. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. am I in trouble or something? Like yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So I go there, and it's my gym teacher, and then it's the athletic director, and she, there was another girl there too, because it was two girls who were nominated for it. And they were like, oh, you know, you guys were selected for this award by us. And it's like everyone, like it's every school. I don't know like what like region they pick from, but it's just like every school you're allowed to take two girls who are obviously involved in sports right, right, right. and like receive this award for like to represent like National Women's Sports Day. Right, right. So oh, I was like, oh, so like that's, that's great. Beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so what do they have? What do they, they give it to you there or do they have yeah, a banquet? Yeah, so or? Um, the, it was kind of, kind of like a banquet, kind of. Um, we, it was last Friday, I think it was in um, Boston. And we drove there, me and the girl, and then our two, our parents, and then um, the gym teacher and athletic director. And we all drove up there, and there was a bunch of girls there. And it was in, um, I can't remember, like, the hall that it was in. Right. But they had, like, a bunch of, like, different speakers, a bunch of, like, women, like, coaches, um, different athletic directors, and just, like, just kind of, just, like, really, like, big idols in like the women oh, sports yeah, like yeah. all that stuff yeah and it was just like so like 
awesome just Surreal. like listening them talk yeah. and like tell i had no idea like how hard it was for like women to be taken oh, yeah. seriously in sports yeah, yeah. like a little while ago right and just like listening them tell like for, like hearing them tell all their stories right. i was like wow that's crazy yeah. Yeah. yeah and and you're now you're part of that yeah you know and uh, uh, as you say and even even the girls you played with the the, the girls who juniors and and sophomores freshmen they look up to you yeah and it's like uh, now you're going to college, mm-hmm. and now you're on the looking up. Now I'm on the bottom <laughs> again. <laughs> but um, yeah, and and so second place, mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, uh, you you say you're at the bottom, but you are a, a vital part yep. of that, and you know it. And uh, a lot of a lot of women and and men or whatever when they go to college and they start playing, some of them never even got past you know yeah. elite eight and stuff. So uh, so. You've you've experienced that yep. experience is so. I mean, now your coach knows. Well, she's she's got some experience. Yeah. On uh, the pressure, you know. Yeah. You, you're going to be playing the same uh, position. Yeah, I think I yeah? think so. What what position was that again? Let's. So it's like pretty much, pretty much shooting guard. It kind of like varies shooting guard forward. Okay. I would say that mainly. Right. And they don't try ever try you on anything else or. No. No. I mean, I'm too small to be a center. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then, okay. But forward. Yeah, uh, I would say small forward, and then shooting guard are like my main two. Have you met any of your uh, your uh, new teammates? Yeah, I've. Um, when I went to watch some of their games, right. I went in the locker room before, and like I was just so quiet and just like standing there, <laughs> and I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> but like, I think like another reason why like I I knew that that was a school for me was like everyone's vibes were just like they were oh, so, so cool oh, nice. so like laid back yeah. and just like they seemed like yep. just good people right so i was like yeah i think i can fit in here how, how are they uh how's their records like they play um so they i think they made it so they played one game in the playoffs and then they made it to the second round and then they lost but they ended up losing to the team that won it all wow. so i was like yeah. okay that's yeah. and i think they won by like they lost by like two points like it was something yeah. very small right so i was like oh that's i mean they're definitely a good team right, so right right yeah and, and you say small you got to be five eight five nine like five eight on a good day okay <laughs> when you stretch yeah. yeah when i stretch yeah me too uh <laughs> and, and so it, what are these girls are they the big tall girls or yes are there's like some like i think their their center she's probably like six three wow six two she's yeah. tall yeah, they have some. They have some tall. Like I, like the other team that they were playing one time. There was this one girl, and she was huge. I'm like, oh my gosh, how right. do they make you guys like like? How right. are you that tall? Right, it's insane. Yeah, and but you know it's funny, and you see the NBA and stuff. Back in the day, you had to be tall. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, you got these guys, little guys, and I'm talking little guys. And they're like five, fast, five, five, yeah. And they they had the ball speed. Yep. And it's all up to you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so what, what did the coach have to say? Uh, these are the drills I want you to do all the summer? Or are you, are Not you? yet. I'm like waiting. I'm waiting for that to him to kind of like give us like a summer right. kind of list of like workouts that he wants us to do. Because you'll probably be going down there and having a, a Yeah, sp- I don't know. It, like thing. it could be like that. Like like a couple of times he could like probably have us go there right, and right, yeah. play, you know, like pickup games or whatever. I don't know how that, all that works. But I usually schools like they'll give you like a, a summer list. And right. Like, oh, like run like a mile a day or under this yeah, yeah. time like whatever like stuff like that you're gonna play uh, summer ball uh out of town or anything no new? i'm too old now ah, i'm so sad old yeah. and there's nothing like no ages, there's uh, aau like um your junior once you're you're in the summer going into senior year right, yeah. is like the last year you can play after your senior year like that summer okay. you're you're too old to play uh, and there's and no inter city leagues at all. Like I don't nothing? think so. I you mean, gotta check that out. I, just yeah, I just leagues. I pretty much just go to like the courts and like right, just yeah, play yeah. like pickup games with like whoever's there. Right. But like sometimes there's like grown men there, and like I'm playing with like a bunch of thirty year olds, and they're like huge, and I'm like, oh, I don't really yeah, think I want to play with you guys anymore. Good, yeah, they won't. Well, <laughs> I if uh, hopefully they don't muscle you. Yeah. They, but that's good for you to tell. Yeah. Because you get used to that, and, they, and now you go to. You know, some yeah. smaller woman going, oh, yeah? I just played against uh, <laughs> Bubba over here. <laughs> wow. Good for you. Um, 
So you have a group that you do still play uh, and try to practice together? Or yeah. And try um, to keep your, your act together. And... So, like, one of my really good friends, Amaya, she's actually talking to UMass Dartmouth, too. She might end up going wow, there, which would be great. Oh, I yeah. love her to death. We, we finally convinced her. Like, so she, I think she played her freshman, she played basketball her freshman year. And then she quit, didn't play sophomore and junior. And then we were like, come on. Like, we need you because she's like 6'1. Yeah. We don't, oh, like, we wow. didn't have a center. We didn't have yeah, anyone yeah. tall on our teams for yeah. like, come on, like, we really yeah. need you. So she finally played senior year and she like did amazing. I don't even know how she like learned everything again so fast. That quick, yeah. But then, like, she does, like, we, we were, I think it was just fall week. Like, that was when like she like kind of just started playing again. Right. And like, there was this like college, like a community, like, not community college, but like a two year college. And he came up to her and he was like, he gave her this pamphlet. And I'm like, Amaya, you already have colleges like looking at you and you just started playing. And oh, it's like the height and then she can get rebounds. And I mean, she can kind of shoot too. So I'm like, natural. you like, you're going to have yeah. like, you're going to have schools like rolling in. Right. And then now she has like a couple talking to her and one of them's you messed up with. I'm like, please go there. Please. Oh yeah. What is she, is she, well, I, th- I, I think she likes it. Like I, okay. I think she's gonna go there. So I'm gonna have a friend. Has she there. been there to, to talk to anybody? The coach? Yeah, she's. Yeah. She actually went there today. She went oh. to UMass Army today to oh, talk to him. So, so cool. yeah. Oh, that's good because I, you know, as I said, we. I, I, it was been a year. I looked up. It was April of of last year. Yeah. When, when you were first on the show, then you came on. I think before this year, before even the playoffs, you yeah. were still playing. Yeah. So it, if you, when we go watch those two shows you almost were kind of predicting yeah you kind of knew something was meshing with this team yep and um your coaches must have known that and you all must have known it now at the elite eight you won that game of course obviously you won them all except for the last yeah um after you won that that game the, uh, and then you, you were going to the quarterfinals right yeah uh you must have You guys must have known saying, oh, we can do this. Yeah. So, like, I think every practice, like, when it was getting closer to, like, those, like, more important games, um, our coaches, like, after every practice, they were, like, they would kind of, like, fill our head with, like, you guys are good. You guys deserve this. Like, you know, like, you've worked harder than any team. And, like, our our coaches – they like in the beginning of the season when they put the schedule together we all looked like the whole team looked at it and we're like are you crazy like the yeah. teams we were playing and just like the whole season led up to those last few games just us like being down a whole lot of points yeah. and then you know not like choking under pressure and yeah. then, and like yeah. coming back Everyone coming so back. we had so many times where a, a great example is the final four game and I think it was against Westfield. I'm pretty sure it's Westfield. Some, some with the W. And um, we were down, like, I think, like, eight points. And there was, like, two minutes left. And um, That's a like, lot for two minutes that's left. That's, like, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then we came back, and then, like, we were putting pressure on the other team. And, like, if that, like, was vice versa, we, like, just learned how to play so good under yeah. pressure. Yeah. We wouldn't, you know, get scared, turn the ball yeah. over freak out four shots right and we were just completely calm and we could just see yeah. how like the other team was dealing with it right. and they were like they would yeah. like turn over after turnover right. and we're like we don't know what to do like yeah. freak and like that's how yeah. we would win it's just keeping our composure throughout yeah. the whole game and and you know it's it, that's that's something that yeah the only way you can get that is by practicing high yep. and getting into that situation mm-hmm. over and over. Oh, my gosh, so yeah. So that you look forward to the situation instead of scared of it. Yeah, because we were like, this is going to be a great comeback story. Yeah, oh, and it's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And uh, let's not say, like, this is almost like a made-for-movie uh, type of season. Yep. And the great thing is you were, like, one of the stars. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and your teammates, all your yeah, teammates. Because yeah. uh, no one individual can can bring a team yep. no one individual it has to be and uh when you mesh and the thing is you guys meshed yeah and and uh, kudos to your coaches mm-hmm. kudos to your yourselves uh you made it happen you listened to the coaches yep. and you worked hard you know how hard you worked um now you got these four years supposedly or maybe or hopefully that you stay uh yeah. you will stay there for four years yeah uh 
You start off as a freshman. Now, do they have, uh, I don't know how colleges, is it just one team or is it? Yeah, it's just one team. There's no freshman. Uh, no, it's JV just and one stuff. varsity, yeah. yeah. So you're going to, in the probably in the beginning, sit down a lot. Oh, yeah. But you'll be practicing. Yeah. And they'll be grooming you. Uh, and you'll be, they'll be throwing you in there. Oh, my gosh. I can't even, like, imagine, like, the, <laughs> the first game that I play, I'm going to be so scared. Yeah, you will. I'm going to be <laughs> so scared. Could, but uh, if, if you practice hard and you're in shape, yep. now, when I say practice hard, what are you doing? You're, you're doing as much ball, ball handling and different. Yeah, uh, um, I definitely, I'm trying to work more on my ball handling because that's, that's just, it. like, that's probably one of my weaker points. I mean. Yeah. I can do like the general like basics, but right. just like obviously getting better at that, and right. then just shooting too. Yeah. Um, just trying to like create more shots too, right. off the you, dribble, which is really oh, I, important. Believe me, I know. Yeah. I played some basketball. Yeah. I I played basketball when I was younger. Nothing crazy organized because yeah. I was into the other stuff. But I watch you girls, and I say. I would have never want to be out there with them. They had <laughs> ate me right up. How how great you guys were yeah. playing, and and aggressive. Yep. So aggressive, and I'm like. I don't think years ago girls were, were pushed to be that aggressive like that. You guys were unbelievable. Yeah. It's just uh, so. Do you have um, do you do you have a coach that uh, or someone who's gonna work with you on ball handling and? Uh, well, I've so. done that before. Like I've gone to private lessons. She's come to like some of our practices too to like more kind of teach the team more ball handling like more drills right. learn more techniques and i've I, i've gone to her like privately before and i can definitely do that over the summer as well right, right yeah but like just like being in those you know practices and seeing her like i like i remember some of her like drills and stuff that i can honestly just do on my own like i can just go right, to the, you remember i can go to the courts you know i can just do you know this drill a couple times and then shoot and then just right, keep right. on doing it yeah i mean you've been playing since how old five yeah i think young very, I couldn't even like remember. Yeah. But no, it was you can't. Very, years go by so quick. Yeah, and, very young. You know, I mean, and, and I'm just throwing questions at you. And you're like, I can't remember that. <laughs> Believe me, I can't remember what I did yesterday. So yeah, I'm asking me too, you. Me too. <laughs> and uh, so you you you'll be practicing all summer. Yep. Uh, any special diet? Are you gonna make sure that you you're gonna try to keep any everything for yeah. that to keep it i mean i always like i you know i'm you not well, say always but i them. like usually eat healthy all right. the time and and when do they start in december uh the basketball um i'm i remember like they like their their practices and all that stuff starts very it starts in october i'm pretty sure okay like yeah. practices and like stuff like that maybe some like scrimmages right, yeah. but then the real season I'm not sure if it starts like November ish, but I know it's like a little before right like before high school campaign. season starts. Okay, yeah. yeah. And and it's not tryouts. You there's no tryouts. You're on the team. Yeah, I mean I think you can have like you can have some walk ons too. Right. For um I think I I don't know if it's like all divisions can have walk ons, right. but like yeah. I feel like with D three would be more common. Like right. you can't really have like a division one walk on. It's right. not really heard of. Right, yeah. But yeah, so I'm I don't know. I I kind of feel like walk-ons like aren't as popular. Right. Like you'd rather, you know. Right. Well, go yeah, there it's it's tough. It's yeah. Tough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and 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 um, what's funny is uh, when we did talk uh, last year, uh, you kind of anticipating. Oh man, I don't know what's gonna. Uh, you know, I don't know where I want to do. I don't know where yeah. I want to go to college, and. Y y you were, you were in between. Yep. And every day, now, did, who'd you talk to a lot? Did you talk to guidance? Is it your mother or family? Or it was really who? just me talking to my mom and then the schools that I was okay. talking to. Right. To you. Yeah. To you got the feel. Yeah. You got the vibe. And that's what you said. You got the vibe. Yeah. Uh, and you, you know. How many schools did you? Kind of walk to a couple of um, three, four. I'm gonna say, let's see, I'm trying to like count in my head. I think it was four. Right. So yeah. Four schools you went through. You talked to the coaches. Yeah. Uh, close to getting a five, but not sure. Yeah. You know. Um, it was definitely like I think like at one point I was just like getting so overwhelmed with it because UMass Dartmouth came on a little bit later right. than. I think it was like the last school that 
ended up like I ended up like talking to and like before I was like yeah like all these schools are good and they could be good options but actually sorry five schools right. I, I just remembered there one you go. um but I was like yeah these schools are nice but like it just I wasn't like I want to go here and like that's like the feeling that I wanted to have and then finally like UMass Dartmouth the coach texted me and I was like oh okay and then we scheduled a visit went there I saw the whole campus and I was like yeah I think I think this is where I want to go right right yeah, yeah. and and you're gonna stay there are you gonna yeah I'm gonna, gonna dorm there you're gonna dorm there yeah uh no work and no work and during school I know I feel like definitely not during basketball season because like, that would could. be impossible I don't know how you could you know? yeah yeah I mean think about school yeah work practice burnout yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm burnt out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. It, you know, what you just went through this last full year. Yep. You're going through school, right? You got you to gotta, gotta study. Yeah. A lot of studying for what you want to do. You got to train. You were working, weren't you? Like, yeah. Yeah, a little. Earlier. A little. Yeah. 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 Um, then social life. You're not much time for anything else. Yeah. Wow. And that gets tiring. But you had a ball. Yeah. See, if you can learn to love that, then that's what separates. Yeah. That's what separates a lot of people. And you know, you 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 had a talent. You know, you you know when you have a talent. Yep. And I think you get addicted to the crowd clapping. And oh my, and, and that's the, the best feeling ever. I love it. <laughs> and and the, the yeah the frenzy in the crowd yeah. and the, and the uh, when you win with your with your teammates, um, that joy and yep. the, and the, the love that you all. All together, because you know you've you've worked together, you're meshed. Yeah. And uh, people coming up to you and congratulating you constantly. That's an addiction. It's the best. Honestly, the best Isn't feeling it the ever. Best? Yep. And a uh, lot of people won't, they won't, uh, especially young, younger people, they don't want the, the um, they, they, they don't want to lose. Yeah. All right. Y you got to lose. You'll never, right? You'll yeah. Ne if you want every game for the rest of your life. That's boring. That's right. You got to know the agony of defeat, they call yeah. it, and the thrill of victory. Yeah. You, you've heard of that before. Why will the sports? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I have. Okay. Uh, and that's it's so true, on um, and that's life. Yeah. All right. Um, you're gonna you're gonna lose. You're gonna win. Um, but when you get addicted to the winning, you'll you'll take the loss. Yeah. Because that winning is so much fun, and it does something to your body. Yeah. It does. And then the thing is now. You're you're uh, you're gonna keep in shape all summer. Yeah. You gonna do any weightlifting? Oh yeah, I do it. Um, I do it when I go to the gym with my mom. We do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays Excellent. is weights, and Excellent. then Monday, Wednesday. Yeah. Actually, no, Wednesday is my rest day. Monday and Friday is like more cardio. Right. That's like my whole little there, plan. That there I you have. go. There yeah. you go. And um, uh, th that's that's building up so that you have basketball because yeah. you have to. In today's world, yeah, and they, the coaches must have told you, right? You gotta, work, you gotta lift, you gotta, yeah, because you won't be able to muscle out these other girls, yep, because you guys muscle each other. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm, I don't go to many basketball games. Yep, I'm remembering well back when I was uh, young, yeah, in my in my teens. That's about the last time I went to a girls' basketball game. Yep. they didn't play like you guys. <laughs> I hate to say it, no, you know, and, and boys too. Yeah. The, the 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 ability of of today's youth compared to uh i i think when i was younger everything's changed yeah the whole strategy and you know what i'm saying it's yeah. uh, uh they never told you to lift a weight don't even they didn't care if you lift the weights they didn't care if you ran hardly mm -hmm. uh just get out there and play basketball yeah now there's structure you know and that structure is good for the rest of your life yeah you know uh and I and I'm a I'm a firm believer in a good diet with it. Oh yeah. Without that good diet, things happen, you know. And, and I know you do have the good diet. Yeah. Um, and so uh, this na I, I, this national woman in sports I, that was uh, that's that's beautiful. Uh, that was kind of like the cherry on top, I think, for the whole oh, year. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. That was that's what I'm saying. That's that movie of <laughs> of, of the week, the yeah. the, the, the Brody Gannon show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your mother must have went completely. Yeah, bogged. I think she she was honestly probably more excited than I am because I feel like, you know, I don't like I see it as like, oh, you know, cool. I got an award and like it's kind of hard to like take a step back and just look at like everything. 
yeah. that I've been a part of. I mean, right. my team going so far and right. then just like other thing, other academic awards that I've received. And like, she was like, oh, that's so great. Like, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, I don't even know what it is. I don't, I don't even know what it is. That's being humble. Yeah. It is. And, and I appreciate what, listen, listening to say that because uh, some people are full of themselves. Yeah. You, if you are, it, that, that takes away a little. So for you saying, what did I do? That's how good you've played. And that's, yeah. and, and does that scholastically end in sports or is that? I think it's just sports. It's just sports. Yeah. So, so think about that. And scholastically, you've been phenomenal. Yeah. So uh, what, you, what you set your mind to do, you're going to do it. Yeah. And so that's why you don't know what you, your future is going to be wild because mm -hmm. you don't know. You don't even know what you're going to do. <laughs> no, I'm like so excited to like just yeah. see these big businesses should, should be looking now and recruiting you. Yeah, they should be saying, I agree. Grab her now. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to lose her to the IBM over here. And so, yeah, that's just funny. And and, and you know what? Um, watch how fast it goes by. I know. How fast it just I still like, can't even believe like high school. Like I have 16 days left and then I'm. I graduated high school. Like that's just so crazy to even so, say. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense to me. I don't know how, how fast not, it went by. You're not alone. It's crazy. You're not alone. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at your nephews and your cousins and yeah. stuff. Yesterday they were two months old. Today they're crazy. five, six, they're ten, eleven. You know. And uh, as I say, we're not related, but we're related to the same people. You yeah. And, and uh, watching. My grandchildren grow up uh, so quick, and they're so inspired by you and Josh. All right, give, yeah. we'll give uh, Josh Gagnon a, a little shout out here too. <laughs> hey, Josh. Hi, Josh. <laughs> with, with the bad hip, we got to get that hip going. He's growing too quick. I know. Isn't oh my that gosh, one? I feel so bad. I got to get him back on the show. We'll get yeah. him back. We on should the show. do one together. That would be. You want to do that? Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. When's he coming back? Um, I think he's home in like a week. Wow. I will talk about him. Yeah. Uh, with that bad hip, but yeah, he's. It's so uh, bad. Oh yeah, but he'll he'll go through that like it's yeah. nothing, um, and and uh, because boy, if ever there was, you you know how he don't want to lose. Yeah. This oh is a guy who never wanted a board game, <laughs> a board game or a card game. He would get so mad if he oh, lost his whole life. <laughs> whole life. Oh yeah, I used to enjoy. I remember I I, I taught him how to sail. Uh -huh. We had two sailboats uh, up on the mountains, and uh, so I got on the boat with him. Josh and my granddaughter, uh, Gracie. Yep. So I said, Josh, we're going to race back. Now, he just, the first time he was ever on a boat, yeah. but we sailed a little that day. So I said, go. And I was not going to beat him. I'm going to let him win. Yep. So he just, he's going and going, and I'm holding back, I'm holding back. And then I says, I'm coming now, right? And he's going crazy, <laughs> right? And I says, having fun, Grace? No. I go, <laughs> no. what? I want to be with Josh right now. <laughs> I want to be winning with Josh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. So, so here it goes. It's it's in the family. Yeah, and she's gonna be the same way too. Well, and she is with the chair. Oh yeah. The chair. Oh my god. Yeah, we have you, we have families, and you have families of unbelievable sports. Yeah. And uh, boy, it's so much fun, and watching the, everyone just grow with it and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm going to talk to Diane because it's in the winter and uh, we gotta, I got to go to some of your games. That would be fun. We, yeah. And uh, have you on the show. And you can do some predictions and see how close you can come with the predictions yeah. and stuff. And, <laughs> and uh, y y so you might have one of your friends. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Uh, you maybe even roomy with them, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, you don't have a roommate now? Not yet? Not not yet. Like I'm, I'm, I've been talking to this one girl. But I would kind of, like, feel bad if I didn't room with Amaya, who's from my school. Right. But, like, maybe it's good to room with someone else and make a, a new friend. Right. And then have her, like, give her the same opportunity for her to make a new friend. Because, right. like, I'm still going to see her every single day, right. you know. Yeah. We're going right. to be on the same team. We're going to be doing stuff together all the right. time. You can't wait. You can't yeah. wait and hold back. Yeah. you got to make your move right yeah. now. Because uh, uh, she might not go. You never know. Yeah. And, um, and uh, what, what's going to happen is... Uh, Watch how quickly you make friends there, mm -hmm. you know, because you've got a good personality. Yeah. You're, as I say, you're a humble person. You're not a, a showboat. You, uh, They love that. They say, all right, we're going to work with this girl. Yeah. And uh, how many, are they, are they losing a lot of people? I think they're losing like five or six maybe. It could be more. How big's the team? Any idea on, on it? Um, usually, I think it's like, usually a team's like 
maybe 18 yeah at most right right yeah maybe so they're, they're losing substantial yeah i think like maybe around like six six right. people i'm like that's a good amount yeah it is, yeah, it is. you gotta fill Seniors. some slots yeah 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 uh but you got the juniors just the sophomores and yeah and the freshmen's coming in <laughs> and stuff right now and um like i for me you seem barely tall for a. uh yeah i think i'm on like you must be Maybe. in the middle. In the middle. Yeah, I think I'm like kind of in the middle. At 18, are you still growing? I think you might I think, still. Be. I don't know. I think I'm done. I feel like I've been this height for a little while. Supposedly, guys grow to the 21. Yeah, and then girls stop. I think girls around play. like 18 or something yeah. like that. I, I'm not sure, but you never yeah. know. You never yeah. know. Maybe I can get like one more inch. You're always gonna sneak that yeah. inch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think it makes a, a big deal? Which yeah, it I might. Mean, it might. I mean, I think like. My probably my doctor would be like, no, like you're five seven, but like my like recruiting pages, no, I'm five nine. I don't really know what you're talking about, but I'm I'm five nine. Right, right, <laughs> right, yeah. Well, if your doctor's gonna let you wear your sneakers when he, yeah, when he yeah, 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 we might say with the high height. So I just go in the middle. I'm like, all right, five eight. There you go. Five eight's good enough. Five eight's tall for yeah. a woman. It really it's is a good height. Yeah, uh, it ain't six five. Yeah, but, uh, no, definitely but, not. But, but then again, you can move around them too. Yeah, you know. Uh, I mean, you look at a guy like uh, uh, Michael Jordan was not really a big, tall guy yeah. for uh, NBA standards. Look at him move. Yeah. You better, you better. That's what I'm saying, ball handling. Yeah. If you can ball handle and you can be fast and leg speed and stuff. Yep. Um, so what, what's going on with the ankle? You're going to, you, you've got therapy for it now? Yeah, or? we're going to, um, we're going to, I, I was planning on starting um, physical therapy after the season because I kind of felt like, it was pointless to do it during right. the season. I was right. like practicing every day. I would just keep on pissing it off even more. Right. And then like with physical therapy, like that's a whole workout itself. I so I more. would be dead yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, like doing physical therapy and then going to practice. That would just be way too much. Right. So I was like, um, hey, mom, we can just start, we can start doing it like in the summer. Right. And um, I got, so we didn't have a trainer for the school. And so we would, we, we would just get like different, trainers from like different facilities like come in for our games because like we tell like we have to have someone yeah, even like an emt somebody. or like right. something like that right, yeah. so um this girl on my team she goes to see this physical um physical trainer and um he gave me his card and i absolutely like love him he's wicked nice and um he was like just like with me a lot helping me with my ankle right and i'm gonna end up seeing him soon nice hopefully get my yeah. ankle better but yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, he'll give you the exercises to build the muscle around yeah. it and um, and to help it. Uh, do, do you ice it every night or do you? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I would ice it like two times a day. I think right. during the season. Right. Like now, like I'll ice it here and there. Right. Just to and try to stretch it too. Right. I have like bands where you know you try to flex your foot. Right. Yeah. Just keep yeah. it going. Get the yeah. muscle going and stuff. Um, that's tough. And and you keep a brace on it if you're going out into. Yeah. If I'm going out to stuff. play, I'm like, I'm too scared of even ha like not having a brace on because right. like now like after you know i know yeah. since like i i heard it going up for a rebound just coming down like doing the simplest thing like now like after all that happened and after i was like kind of healed and i could play again even just going up for a rebound and coming down i was like oh my gosh i'm so scared right <laughs> yeah because you, you know it's funny and people who watch basketball they don't think it's a rough sport especially if you're watching it on tv yeah uh you get out there now Never mind you're going up for rebounds, getting an elbow in the face, elbow in the head. Oh, my, so many but times. But you're landing on their ankles. Yep. Or their feet. And that's where the ankle pops out. Yeah. And that's the, and you're always in the air. You're always jumping for the ball. Yeah. Or you're running and both of you are running for. So you're always stepping on each other's feet. Yep. And that's where that's. And, and never mind the ankles, the knees. Mm -hmm. When you lose the knee, you, you, you can. Yeah, it's bad. You can call it, you know, you, you, it's not going to be good. Yeah. Meniscus and. and uh, you know anything that can so do you wear any kind of brace on your knees no i haven't knock on wood but no i know but just for, for um you know just to protect just in case i mean i wear a leg sleeve yeah. on one of my legs right. i don't really know if that does like much of like right. protecting right but i could definitely look into it though because yeah, I'm so scared of getting another injury they like that they sell so much good stuff now yeah. that, that's high tech and you wouldn't even know what's on Back in the day, they'd have these big compression things and, yeah. and this and that. They got it now where 
a sleeve. With, or they sell them, and they're just compressed in. Yeah. Uh, and you don't even know that there's little things on the side because it's that lateral movement yeah. that, that pops the knee out. Yeah. Especially landing on for a rebound. Do you find yourself under the net a lot for rebounds? Or? Yeah. See, I don't understand. Uh, all right, so, and I know you ha- you'd be going under the basket making, a, and you'd be going for rebounds, but do they tell you to kind of let the other teammates go for like, you mean, like the taller girls? The taller girls, yeah. Yeah, so, so it kind of it kind of like just like depends on the situation. Yeah, it it depends if you're like your position on the court. So we would always say, I mean, like obviously, like if the taller girls were on the court and like they weren't getting rebounds and like my coach yelled at them be like you're the tallest girls on the court like you are supposed to, you are guys you guys are supposed to be the ones getting Get those the rebounds. rebounds right but like he would always have so we'd, there's five girls on the court he would say the four of you guys go for the rebound and then the person who is closest to like half court you get back so we have like one safe person all right, all right, if so like yeah. the other team gets the ball and they go right but then okay. the rest you right. to go for the rebound, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I I watched, and when you did play that championship game, that team had some really tall girls. Oh, yeah. And then the rebounds were going their ways. Yeah. I mean, the ball can bounce you away a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I looked, and I went, they are tall. Yeah. The girls are tall. And they were a very good team. They were a good team. Yeah. Uh, you guys fought them tooth and nail. It was yeah. a beautiful thing. And I, I like, at the end of the game, watching the emotions were just – Crazy. Yeah, I remember it was so sad. <laughs> it's a sad thing. And I'm thinking, you know, and I used to always think, do you wanna do you wanna go and, and lose by one shot in the last second? All right. That's very and true. That's yeah. heartbreaking. Or that, do you wanna lose all right, we lost by a couple of points. Yeah. All right, so you're already ready for it. Yeah. I think that <laughs> I would personally rather lose by more. Right. <laughs> that's what because, I would think. Like that. That question has come out like a bunch of times. I, I I feel like that's just like a very common question. But sure like, is. I couldn't imagine like it being a tie game and then someone just pulls a shot out of nowhere with like seconds left and they hit it and then you lose by like right. two points. Like, I could not. Or you're under the basket and you had the perfect shot. Yeah. You take it and you miss it. Oh. Now you've got to live with it. In your oh mind, you gosh. have to live with it, but you yeah. don't have to worry about it because yeah. that's sports, yeah. especially basketball and stuff. You know, if you're, if you're in the box and it's you. Yep. But when you have five people on that court at all time, yeah, you know, right? uh, it's just it's it's a it's a matter of where that ball's going. Yeah. It's where that ball's going. Uh, there's a there's a thing, and I I I, I want I wanted you to uh, check this out. This is this is what it's all about. And I, I anyone who's in sports, if you're into sports uh, the way you are, yep. you're ready to take the loss. You're ready to take the beating. Yeah, that's because you love it so much. Yeah. And you're going to have critics. And you're going to have someone who said you should have done this and that. Yeah. And it's in every sport, and everyone has to listen to it. And this, listen to this. This is, I'll, may, I'll read it quick. It's not the critic. You might have heard this, too. It's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points how strong a man stumbles or where the doer of a deed could have done better. The credit belongs to the man in the arena whose face is marred with dust, sp- sweat, and blood who spends himself in a worthy cause, who strives valiantly, and who errs and comes up short again and again, and who at best knows the high achievement of triumph, who at worst he fails while daring greatly, for he knows his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. All right? and that's I re- great, yeah. That's, that's Teddy Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to give that to you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that and and the last sentence, uh, the last sentence. Does that not say it's it all? It's perfect. Right, you're not going to be one of those timid souls yeah. who know neither victory nor defeat, uh, which means you're going to go after it. You're going to yeah. go after it, uh, and it's 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 a ride. You've taken the ride. You've taken the greatest ride that most people never see in a lifetime. Yeah. And now you're still riding. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Isn't it fun? <laughs> yeah. But now you're going to do some schoolwork, too. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, but you know what you want. Yeah. You know what you want. Yeah. It, it, no fraternities, right? You don't do a fraternity? No. No? No. Do they still do fraternities? Yeah, I they do. Oh, do, do they? 
I don't know if they have them. I mean, I feel like every school has them, but I, would think I, didn't, so. I, I don't know. I didn't see any in my school. I could never do any of that stuff. Yeah. No. Well, after Animal House, I don't know if it's it <laughs> Yeah, I could always watch that, you know. Uh, but that's all. You, a lot of times they gave fraternities a bad name. That, that yeah. movie. It sure did. But God, was that funny. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've seen Animal House. I know oh, you yeah, have. Yeah. But. See a lot of stuff I say to you. I mean, I've got, I'm push. I'm way up there now on age. No, and, uh, no, I know you don't think so, <laughs> but I I know where I am, uh, and and things gone by. Yeah. Even with my daughter, I haven't been. You know, she was in the sports like yeah. yourself, and that's been, you know, fifteen years. Yep. The only the good thing is the grandchildren. Yeah. You know, and their nieces and nephews and cousins of yours, yeah. or whatever they are, and uh, they, it's so much fun watching yeah. them. But that would be a good idea, you and Josh. I know. That would be fun if we did that. Yeah. Maybe we're going to do that. I'm going to talk to Josh. Uh, and I, because I, I, I bet you both have some experiences together. Yeah. Playing. I want to hear how his freshman year in college went. Yeah. Was, oh, you haven't talked to him much? I like, I, I text him all the time. Right. Like, I reach out to him. Um, but, like, it's, it's different. Like, I don't want to ask him, like, oh, how was your day today? Like, every single day. Right. But I would just like to like kind of sit down and be like, I mean, like, how was right. school? How was, right. like, we just talk about, you know, like the basic stuff. Right. Like yeah. I, I text him like every day and I'm just like, you know, hey, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. But I would like to like have like a sit down. Like This would be perfect just to hear him, like him, he could hear about my senior year and then I could hear about his freshman year. Right, right. And that'd be good, yeah. Yeah, and then you get a little couple of pointers on this is what I shouldn't have done or this yeah. is what I should have done. Because <laughs> you, you don't know what you're walking into. Yeah. You know, it's that's that's a scary thing that, you know, your very first year. Well, it's it's scary very first day at any job. Yeah. All right? You don't know who, you don't know anybody. Yep. So you're walking in there like, all right, play it by ear. You're going to yeah. play it by ear. Uh, the great thing is you've got basket. You're already going to be playing with these basketball yep. with the, your, your team. So you're going to school and someone will be in your class and the, the friends you make. Yeah. And they're friends for the rest of your life, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and and even when you see, you know, you might never see some of your uh, teammates again ever in your life. Yeah. Because you're going off in one direction, they go off in another direction. Everyone's life is their life. Yep. But you meet up with them in the supermarket someday. Yeah. <laughs> 40 years from today. And you go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All the emotions come back. Those emotions will never leave you. Yeah. Right? Uh, and, and you know what's great? Think about your, your parents. Yeah. And uh, your grandparents and, and all your family. How much fun they had with you. Yeah. You know? And they do appreciate it. Yep. They appreciate that. And you appreciate them for um, for supporting you. Yeah. You know? Um, it's just, that was a quick hour, wasn't it? It was very quick. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I can keep going. Uh, and and what what I and, and like I say, this is the third. Uh, and, and if anyone wants to watch any of the other shows, um, it's it, right now we have the YouTube channel, uh, uh, TKD Grandmaster Bob Lemire. Uh, check out the shows. This is the third one that's probably done. And I swear, she predicted. She predicted. I go did. I can tell did. the future. You, uh, you did. I can you, tell you. I said, what do you saying? think about next year? And you go, I think we're going. We're, <laughs> we can go. All and I'm like, wow, that's pretty bold. But you uh, you had faith in you. You knew who was coming back. Yep. And you you, uh, you guys meshed. And um, now it's just graduation. Yep. What's the what, what's the grad, what's the date in graduation? It's June. Um, June 2nd. June 2nd. My graduation. Graduation. Well, Right, right here at uh, yeah, right at the high school. Right at the high school. It's been years since uh, I don't know what how they do it anymore. <laughs> do they do it at another hall? Or no, yeah, that? it's at the high school. How many how many uh, people are, are graduate? Any idea? I think it's one ninety two. One hundred ninety two people. Yep. It's a small school. Very small. Wow. We're the smallest school in our district. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's a, a, a made-for-movie thing. For, I, that they should a, make a movie about us. They could have. They really should. Maybe they will. <laughs> why don't you do it? I will. Go, I'll I do will. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, the, when I graduated at Lowell High, 1,000 kids That's graduated. That's crazy. Well, like 192 to 1,000. 1,000 kids graduated. All right. And can you believe like that's a town over? 
That's a town That's over. That's literally the town <laughs> over. And there's yeah. a thousand. There was four thousand oh four thousand in the school. Crazy. We had to have I had to go in at eleven o'clock because we had to have double schedule. Uh, yeah. Double Too things. many kids. Too many kids. And to me it was normal. That's insane. You wanna talk about scary and I went to a Catholic school where it was a very small Catholic school. Yeah. I did Saint, that too. Saint Michael's. Then I went to this school that 1, had four thousand. <laughs> no, the one thousand in my class, but yeah, four thousand. Four thousand, yeah. And I didn't know anybody in any classes. Yeah, I'm starting all over again. And when you're in when you're in a, a grammar school, you know all your friends. Yeah, you've been with them for eight years, nine years. That's not fair. No, not at all. That's crazy, Brody. That's a bit. That's about all the time we had. I appreciate your time. And, Thank uh, you very much. Uh, we're gonna make a date. Josh, get ready. Get ready, Josh. Get, get ready, Josh. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed this show. Uh, you, as again, you can see it on uh, YouTube, Drake at uh, TV dot org. Um, it's on Spotify also, uh, and till next time, train hard and have some fun. Yes.